been raised uh, my entire life. Um, I want to thank everybody who spoke before me. Uh, I'm here to address this issue. Obviously, growing up here, uh, 34 years old, lived in Chesterfield my whole life. Uh, like Darren, obviously respect him very much. I won a Stanley Cup in 2016. And I can tell you, throughout the uh, 34 years of my life, bringing the Stanley Cup back to Chesterfield Township uh, was probably one of the greatest feelings I've ever had as a hockey player. And sharing that with the people that put me in positions to succeed. That being said, uh, aside from that, uh, I help LCU, plays on Hong Kong's Ice Arena. I run a summer program with over 300 people, youth, men's elite, women's. Um, people travel upwards of four hours to come play at Mount Hung's Ice Arena. I can tell you one thing, traveling four hours, guys need places to stay, guys need places to eat, guys need to, uh, places to fuel up, like Mindy had mentioned. All those guys, women, uh, youth, they all spend their money in Chesterfield. Although the rink is in Mount Clemens, they spend their money in Chesterfield. I can tell you what, my fondest memories were in hockey. I grew up, I played a lot at Mount Clemens Ice Arena, a number of kids around here have as well. And I can tell you what, I think a lot of people in this room have attended or watched a hockey game. Before, when they announced the starting lineups, they say the hometown of each individual player. I have been asked countless times where Chesterfield Machine is, and I take a lot of pride in pulling up a map and showing people where Chesterfield Machine is. People come from all over. I've played with a lot of Europeans, a lot of Canadians, people from all over the world. Um, nobody knew where Chesterfield was until I had a conversation with them, and I cannot tell you how many people have come to visit me here in Chesterfield. Now, growing up, I was always taught to chase my dreams, and, and with the rinks closing around here, I think we are taking that away from our youth. Um, we are not allowing them that option. And hockey rinks are a little bit different than gyms, movie theaters. I can watch a movie at home. I can get creative. I can train at home. I cannot stay at home. It's a very, very expensive sport. I can tell you that. A lot of people invest a lot of money. Um, that's why I mentioned the story of me bringing the Stanley Cup back to Chesterfield, Michigan and sharing it with all the people who put me in positions to succeed. Um, I think by closing down the ice arenas, we are giving a competitive advantage to all the states that have their arenas open and allowing kids to skate. Um, I know if I was at that age, obviously, I'm 34 years old, uh, fresh into retirement, I was able to live those dreams. Um, when we take that away from our youth and we don't allow them to skate, train, do everything they need to give themselves the best chance to succeed. We are creating a competitive advantage in the whole state of Michigan that obviously is nicknamed Hockey Town uh, and very similar to the people before me. Uh, a number of them tough, touched on that. Uh, a number of people have traveled to Ohio, to other states where they are spending their money just to skate and, and, and spending a lot, of extra, a lot of extra money that could go into our businesses around here. So I ask you to reclassify our ice arenas and get those open as soon as possible as we have devised. I've been in, in conversations uh, and countless hours of constructing uh, plans and, and, and safe ways to operate like a number of businesses faced with these times. We have had to restructure and we've had a number of conversations within that. And I think we are able to do that, especially in the sport of hockey where you don't, you, it's not basketball, it's not football. You, nobody touches the puck. Uh, basketball, everybody's sharing the same puck. Baseball, everybody's sharing the same ball. That does not happen in hockey, and there are a number of 